Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but... Horse that... ranch show? What? No, a year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it, is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know, but I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd she do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... I wonder what happens picture, if like, you just try to leave the, the island. I don't know what that is. Like, immediately, a, from, like, really? the beginning of the story. You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I would have done things differently now, but... You know, whatever. And the funny part is, Jonas. I taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine, and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? Well, you failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. Yeah, I think I'm with Alex on this one. She probably should have stuck around and taken that test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... I guess I don't have to listen to the entire story. I can just go. Right? Yeah. Mayday! May- Oh crap. This isn't- This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ren, you know... Maybe that was the order. Mayday, mayday. Oh, hey guys! I see you down there. And... Without Clarissa. Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. She's probably at least a little scared. You know, maybe out when we ran maybe into maybe if you get all the questions right, you save Clarissa. Friend, so. And if you save Clarissa, Just, I'm so this is probably one of the different endings. Maybe you round. can actually save what? her. It's kind of you know. It's just about to when did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one. All right, it's just to level me hey, out. Hey, Rusty, it'll, how's it going? It'll bring me back up. Uh, fine. If that's what it takes to get you through the night, then okay, great. I don't need it. I just needed it now. Oh God. Yeah, maybe, maybe if you answer all the question, answer all those questions right, you would have saved Clarissa. Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me she jumps off this thing too, man. Like, I don't. This need... thing doesn't work. Not getting anything. I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona, night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier but hey have you figured out what's going on yet you have to know something you've been like look we tuned into something in the cave and it was like gabriel sounded the trumpet just everything went terrible and uh ghosts yes oh oh i got it this is great this is perfect i know exactly what to do do you yeah totally it's maggie adler maggie adler yeah she has a boat hmm. had a boat i'm doing all right I mean, the boat's still here, but she's... Ren, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at I'm doing all right, Rusty. Just... Thanks for asking. Right How are you now? doing? I'm sorry, but I've been like stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. Same. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. Well... And I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? 
Oh, I don't know, fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that, I'm just... <laughs> there's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean... Sorry. Carry on. Listen, Oof. we're all thinking what I'm saying. Jonas is clearly a total weirdo that would rather him well, maybe I wasn't the supposed than to use that yet. anyone else be right. How can you... How can you say that you're... Guys, a... you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? Yo, He's gonna chill, trash man. Only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Yo, chill. Legitimate means? What do we even talk? Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly All is right, two of us have Rusty. to stay I'll here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Jonas, let's go. Ah, <sighs> thank you. What? First you let me sweat it out for like two hours in the woods and to go gallivanting around with this guy, and now you're still picking him over me? Him? Maybe, maybe I should him. have been, uh... Him? Ren, we're still, we're still doing. We're, I should maybe I should have picked uh, Nona. Who cares if you're on the home? I wonder what happens team. if I would have picked I Nona. I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like, like maybe I they died. Like needed, just maybe they'll die. Just fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh God, will you just shut up? Okay, before things get stupid let them, again, let them, let them go good together. Luck with the these whole two. Thing. We'll be waiting, guys. <sighs> Like, chill, man. Like, these two kids right here. It's okay, just let them fall in love with each other. It's fine. They all- they need a room together. Maybe they can finally get to know one another. Yeah, they need some time. Fine, no worries. This is a long game, though. What time is it? It's nine. Come on, come on, Jonas. You take forever. <sighs> There's so much. Actually, the 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 dialogue in this game is really nice. Just in general. Because you know that whole argument? Like, usually they don't have overlapping arguments like that. Like in some games. See, this is why you don't sneak out at night either. Because stuff like this happens at night. I'm just saying. Hold on. Stuff like this happens at night. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not... I want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That 
distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry, I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Look, I, and I just want to clear the air, too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. Sure. But you asked if I went to jail during the beach game? I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just, my mom got hmm. sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but... Yeah, he went but, to juvie. I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it going oh. it was as stupid as it sounds and I'm not gonna defend myself what happened to the other guy hospitalized not for a while but you know I tried to visit him after I got out but he wouldn't see me my mom found out of course and I never really squared it with her in a way that I don't know <laughs> things never really work out the way you want you know but whatever yeah, well, you're preaching to the choir on that one. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be, and that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy, okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, all right. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. You're a good guy. No, seriously though, this game can be kind of terrifying. Is it in here? No, it's not. Where am I supposed to be going? To Main Street. This is, I want to, like, this is whatever, but are you, like, religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. I can probably guess where you're going with this, but I'm going to ask anyway. Why? I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist, and, but, I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Well, what about it rubbed off on you? Uh, faith discerns the things of God. I heard that a lot as a kid, and it's been on my mind tonight. Some aspects of it just, um, help me, I guess, day to day. A little. Like what aspects? Just the, um, that everything, well, not that everything happens for a reason or whatever, but just that some I'm things are I'm wondering where this is gonna go, like, know. this whole thing. I'm just babbling now. I get that. Don't worry about the stuff you can't control. Yeah, but whatever. I'm kind of curious about what the whole premise of this is. Like, are we gonna meet the ghost of her brother? Like, or, like, is it really the people? Like, why is, that, is... Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but... Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't... Uh, this has just really lost its charm, I have to say. Maybe they want to, maybe the ghosts or whatever want to help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying oh, to... Oh, you guys can't see to, her. Whatever, the it's behind the ham cam. Or something? something else? Clarissa, how are you, uh, doing, hun? She's, like, swinging, she's, like, on top of a light post Alex, right now. a little help over here. She's, like, Clarissa, on a, a light post swinging her there? legs. Please. She was sitting up there. Oh, 
Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. What? What more can we do? We're barely holding on to What more can you do? You can do your job. That's just for starters. You can be what you signed up for. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. She did now? Is she okay? Or Oh, she's Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just just take it easy. I'm fine. I can I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just been through something. <sighs> Do you She just fell off the thing, happened? man. <sighs> I remember Waiting in Fort Milner, and seeing you? That's it? How did I get here? We... I think we were hoping you could tell us that. <sighs> the usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. Dude, what the freak, You really man? don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. <laughs> Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so... Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so... Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just, we have to stick together. What is We're going on, friends. man? Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates- Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world, and she likes to take it out on me, and- and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a- No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Wow. Because mm. of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa, Ugh, she you weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I... I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's... Jonas, don't... Just don't think of me like... I don't. I won't. But right now, we're gonna break into that office, and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, she was. But we're looping again, so... God only knows where she is now. You know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... I don't know if I buy the whole we're causing it thing. The ghosts could be messing with stuff, messing with us. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever. We're here to get the key, and then we can leave and put all of this... Fall yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh... Less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but... Brute force it? What is that supposed to mean? Elbow grease, shoulder, lard. We're gonna break down the door, okay? Us, together. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Not a chance. Cool. Carry on. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that 
Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate too. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... Everything becomes an antique. That's what that, that's what that message said. It should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Hmm. Well, this is going somewhere. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction. Many truths? Shh. Inside, you'll Hold on. So I'm supposed to go back up the find street. Find two wall equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons fun, fun, in the fun, notes fun, within fun, and discover the true Thanks, chronicle of the Thanks, DNA, for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Huh? Wh what the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune to 140.1, and that will somehow lead us to, like, information or secret stuff or something. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomforted for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve, but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself? And then it's just signed up. <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, All right. We do not have to dig up some old lady's recycling. We can just go home. Where's the fun in that? Let's go dig up some trash. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is... I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Why? How? Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come no, on. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst I'm telling time. you, I think that, I think it's like kind of the... Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... Never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. It's not a... Today turned out to be... A flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but I thought you'd laugh at me. This is really quite insane, what's happening right now. I'm just sorry that apparently nobody realizes how insane this is. I know, right? Nobody really appreciates it when conditions are this good. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. Oh, God, what's rare. happening? Are we going to witness his death? Like, this is kind of like, you kind of like learn about their story, but then also like... It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. 
So, uh, <laughs> do you? Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry. Did I forget something? I'm bad with dates. Our whole like island horror show, ghosts and possessions, and and none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. What the heck, man? Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. All of us. Michael, uh... He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know mm -hmm. that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting, I'm entertaining. I'd crush a debutante's ball or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want Is this anything? where he teaches me um, how to swim? No, nah, I'm good. No thanks. I'll be back. This is where she te he teaches me to okay, swim? Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They oh, fight a lot, God. but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna this be fine. This is very I, interesting, because you're like kind of learning about her background. Insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look. Just because Jamie's as well as whatever is happening on the island super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too all right and look i know this was supposed to be our day but i completely forgot i promised clarissa i'd do something with her so thanks for chaperoning i know it's not what you had in mind so what do you see in her really okay here's okay tuesday night she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic shoved me on stage and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes and that was a tuesday so that's what I see in her. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God, do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. Paco, you haven't called me that in years. Oh, Michael seemed like a nice guy, right? Michael seems like a pretty nice guy. It's too bad he's dead. He got into a oh no, is it drowning accident? Alex, are you all right? <sighs> okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. I mean, Jonas do, is. Do, do you know that? This is in Canada. Uh, I mean, I let it go for the first two, but. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Um, you kind of slowed down, then stopped. Then you were just shuffling your feet like you forgot how to actually move. Oh, interesting. Then you were kind of just muttering to yourself about, like, sandwiches or something. Whole thing was a weird little show. Like, you were having a stroke or something. I... I was? Yes, you said it doesn't matter what's in it. Potato chips always improve a sandwich. <laughs> it's like to yourself. Whatever. As long as you're back among the living... So I'm supposed to... Let's just head to the gate, try the radio. Wait, am I supposed to meet them there? It looks like we're all here. Why does everybody in, in like, <sighs> in... Oh, oh, they're there. Oh, you scared didn't me. Die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but 
I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Some... <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever. I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the... Turn on, Turn on the Lima Hotel. Turn on the light. Like, I don't know what frequency is supposed to be to open the gate. Probably oh, since it mentioned ship, yeah. <sighs> please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a Just boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah. I think Harry's a little scared too. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Jesus, that house is huge. Well, I'm that glad that we're all live. together, though. It's like the Chateau de... Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, Where's Clarissa, anyway. though? I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Guessing we just... Oh, oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. No, we checked when everything. Sometimes I lock myself out of my house, I'll just I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to like hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really, but we can try that now if you think it'll help. Um, well, well then what are we supposed to do? Why does Ren look like that? Am I supposed to look for something? Do I go inside the house? So am I just supposed to leave them there? It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you, oh, in there's town, a mirror you here. I hate the same it. Thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? 
It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Oh god, if she well, becomes possessed again, I'm gonna freak out. Since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or... Fine, okay? Let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. How are you doing? How are you doing? Think Ren secretly hates me since I kind of put my faith in you over him and pressure cooker situations? No, he'll be all right, I can tell. He looks at you like a sister. That doesn't drain easily. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Oh, God, addicts are the worst! The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Hmm. Watch that sneak, sneaky Clarissa. Hell yeah, man. She creep, man. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart... Ugh, signals through space or something? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Oh, it's a it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Don't call her that. She wasn't odd. She was just eccentric. Kind of a thin line, but sure. That's what they all say. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Got Am it, I supposed to be looking for the... And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot Okay, of... we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss... Okay, it. why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. What am I supposed to be looking for? Maybe there's something up here? supposed to be looking for there's like nothing else up here that I can see there's nothing else in the house oh downstairs uh, put some clothes on <laughs> remember that guy where are your parents you kids better than oh um Chad's lake house yeah yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a door that's open up here. Oh, God. Basement. Is this where What's-His-Face went? Find anything useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. How are you, um, how are you feeling? Like, physically? Everyone kind of looks like they have the flu. What do you care how I'm feeling? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. 
I know we're, I know we're supposed to find the key, but here's we're the combination for the there's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. 2, 9, uh, 1, cool. 4, 54. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're not videos. Am I supposed to write that down? Um, Can somebody memories? write that down for me? I'm not going to remember all those numbers. Twenty nine, eighteen, fifty four. Was it twenty eight? Twenty twenty nine, twenty nine, fifteen. I don't know, man. Are you um doing okay? I know the middle number yeah, was fifteen. I'm all right. Yeah. We're going home soon. So. It's like twenty yeah, twenty nine, fifteen, eighty four. Ninety-four? Well, we're about to find out. Someone clip it. Twenty-nine. Oh, 18, I didn't even need to know. Fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here. Tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special Why radios, does Ren you know? Huh. No, Is I got it wrong, too. Uh, I thought it was the 15. Boat keys. Got him. Got him. Perfecto. Why does Ren look like he's about to throw up? All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. I'm going to pass by this thing, and I'm not going to have a shadow. Okay, never mind. Alex. Oh, Alex. Oh Come my. Come down here, please. Oh god. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> uh, Clarissa, where are you? In the family room, dear. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Clarissa be murdering everyone. Yeah, I feel that. Oh no. There you are. God dang it. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. Training? All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alex? Have you played this, Nee? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses. Yes, I meant to know what the hell was going to happen. And yet, without understanding your footing, you still oh. <laughs> Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house. And you will go and find it. See? A simple and good humor. What if I... What if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid. But it's your choice. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, Soft six, ball. five. Once they call it official. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. What softball? Stop it! Come on, no! It's, it's my fault. I, I didn't know. Bring her back. Bring her back now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you'd paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. Oh. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Uh, is it the, the this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you'll really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. 
Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We yeah, have to be here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You, you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some, some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over oh, and over geez. again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing oh. in the living room just now. Oh, what is it? going on? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. And look, Alex, if you're ever getting asked to find someone's crap, less ghosts are gonna punish not you, ask to tag out or something, because God, that felt like my skin was getting pulled off. Normally, she's good at this stuff. Normally. It was much harder than it looked, trust me. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters... Then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster. No, completely that's the plan. Of course it is. Clarissa is not going to be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Not on my watch. Mm -mm. Well, if we're going to the cave... Where's the cave? Down here? Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right. I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Epiphany. Is that it? All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure that it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? <sighs> okay. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, 
lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant. Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel Epiphany. or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Catford station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Hmm. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, huh. but it's the only Dude, thing we is... have so far. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to, to leave before Alex dawn, right? Head through the woods Why is everything the, um, at night, man? Part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I am, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Okay. Jeez, this game... This game is a lot. What time is it? All right. I, I kind of want to take a break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. I'm kind. I kind of want to take a break from this, man. This is a lot. This is honestly a lot to take in. Oh my god. How many more possessions do I? See, I knew Clarissa was bad, man. Like, there's no way that she wasn't. You know. I'd say we should leave. Just leave Clarissa, it's fine. Just leave her. Wait, so where am I supposed to go? Just leave her. She's kind of being a butt anyway, right? Like... Wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? Yeah. Right? Maybe I should have said we should just leave her. But maybe I don't know what the little the little speech bubbles are when it comes with our face. Maybe it's like maybe that's what happens. Okay. I kind of want to take a break, man, cuz this game like little at a time is like all about all I can take right now. Like, honestly, it's really honestly about as much as I can do. Oh my god. It's not that I'm like, it's not that I'm like super scared, it's just that I'm like, I'm like, it's just a lot to take in because there's so much information going, coming at you right now. And so like, because like, I assumed, I assumed our whole goal was just to find each of the people and then that was it. But now it's like, it seems like we have to do all of this, and then we're about to die because of these ghosts. I mean, we put in about two hours. So I feel like, I feel like... I don't know how much more, we ha I guess we have like two more chapters to go. Because that's what it kind of looks like. I'm kind of getting really tired though, because there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of information to like take in. Oh my god, I'm. Whew. Hold on. 
Let's see how far. If I if I quit here, where where I wonder where it takes us. Mm -hmm. oh, let me see where let me see where it leads us off. Okay. 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 Cool. So basically, we'll just start where we left off last time. Last we had to do that little part where we were at the chalkboard earlier, only because I had stopped in the middle of it, like right before all of that, because I was getting really, really creeped out. But now it, it's not that bad. It's just there's a lot of that like kind of like surprise factor that comes with like the flashing of the screen. The flashing of the screen is kind of something that I don't personally like because it's just like, can you stop, like, please? But, um, I don't know how much longer this game is. Apparently, it's supposed to be, like, a four-hour gameplay. We put about, like, three hours into it. Like, the first hour we did, like, kind of the first hour we did playing, um, the first time we played on Thursday. And then now we played about another, like, two hours. Almost two hours. I'm gonna have a seizure. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like, it kind of does trip you out a little bit. Like, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. It is not too bad, 